titanic disaster at sea the blue band in the 1860s a rivalry developed between the different companies as to which could cross the atlantic the fastest an unofficial prize called the blue band was awarded to whichever ship held the record bringing great publicity for the company that owned the ship and possibly even the ship uh the main companies competing for it were white star line and cunard Thomas Dismay, Bruce Dismay's father, owner of White Star Line at the time, realized that there were more and more rich people wanting to travel and that they didn't want just speed, they wanted lux luxury as well. So, he commissioned a new kind of liner from Holland and Wolf, which was both very fast and very, very comfortable, especially in first class. The new ships were a great success, but eventually he decided that it was simply too expensive to build ships that were both the most luxurious and the fastest afloat. So he chose to leave the race for the Blue Band to Cunard and the others. Very disappointed because maybe, who knows, if Titanic divided the iceberg, maybe could have won the Blue Band. And maybe Bruce's may would have been right for once. Now, though they weren't competing for the prize, White Star ships would still be fast. And they would definitely be this comfortable, but they just wouldn't have time to do the race. Uh, Thomas Dismay died in 1899, and Bruce took over. Then in 1902, the American tycoon J.P. Morgan gained control of the business and made it part of the shipping combined International Mercantile Marine, though Bruce Ismay continued to run the right star line. He launched a range of increasingly large ships, culminating in the Oceanic in 1899 and Celtic in 1901. At the time, the biggest ships ever had been built. Then in 1906, the company's pride was dealt a terrible blow. And the reason that is is because Cunard launched Mauritania and Lusitania, ships that were even bigger, faster, and more luxurious. They could complete the transatlantic journey in under six days, and not surprisingly, they quickly got the lion's share of the passenger trade. So, it's pretty obvious.